So let us now look at this sutra in detail. Three four sixty seven. Kartari krit. The vritti says krit pratyaha kartari sya. Actually, it's a very simple sutra. All it is telling us is that any krit affix, any affix having the sanya of krit, is to be used in the sense of the one performing that action. Which action? The action signified by the dhatu to which the krit affix was added, of course. So we take up any we take a dhatu, add any krit pratyaya to that. Now, when that that we create a pradipadikam, as we already discussed by one two forty six, which is krit taditta samasascha. So we create a pradipadikam by adding this participle, this krit pratyaya, and as a starting point. The meaning conveyed by the krit pratyaha is that it signifies the that pradipadikam stands for the agent who is performing that, that action. For example, we take a dhatu kru and then the krin karane, and if we add a pratyaha, for example, take this pratyaha here, nul trichau, nul trichau. If we add the pratyaha trich, for example, and you um, do the gunadesha, of course, first anubandha lopaha. Trich by halantyam, thus the lopa ha. We get kru plus. Uh, just give you a quick example. We'll do more detail later on, but uh, kru plus tru, and then do sarvadhat kardha dhat kayo ho uran rapa ha uran rapa ha. We get the form kartru pratibhidikam, and we decline that form. We get pullinge prathama ek vachnam karta. So karoti iti karta. So karta is someone who does. So that is the so. You know, same same thing. We can take another dhatu, like dhatu bhru. So bhrti ti bharta, one who supports. So that is a bharta. So you can take any dhatu. It doesn't have to be ending in the rukar or anything like that. It is so the meaning conveyed by adding the affix trij, which has the krid sanya by krid a thing. We create this prati bhadikam, and the meaning is one who does the agent of that action. Agent you know, of that action, but in this particular case, in the case of kritya pratyaya, which is our current topic, there is an exception to the general rule. So this is a general rule, but this general rule has an important exception, which is three four seventy. Tayore va kritya takhalartha ha. As I remind you always in this class, is always keep an eye on where we are in the ashtadhyayi. So this sutra is three four seventy is an exception. It's an exception to three four sixty nine kartari krit. Now long 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 back we have referred to this sutra lakh karmani cha bhave cha karma ke bhya. This anuvritti of karmani and bhave comes into this sutra. Tayore va kritiyakta kalartha ha. So that is the sutra that we need now. To tell us in which meaning the kritya pratyaya are used, we know that the default meaning for any krit pratyaya, which includes the kritya pratyaya, is kartari. But Pandini puts an exception to that rules three four sixty seven, which is three four seventy is the apavada for three four sixty seven, and in that three four seventy Pandini specific Pandini specifically. Mentions kritya pratyaya, so that is what we need to look at right now, in order to understand in which meaning we are going to allowed to use kritya pratyaya. So the next sutram to look at is tayoreva kritya kta kalartha ha.